Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how aldehydes and ketones can be reduced by nucleophilic addition reactions. In the last couple of videos, we've been looking at carbonyl compounds. Remember that the carbonyl group consists of a carbon atom double bonded to an oxygen atom. And we find the carbonyl group in aldehydes and ketones. Now, a key idea you need to remember is that the carbonyl group is polar. Remember that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. This means that the electron density in the double bond is shifted towards the oxygen atom. And because of this, the oxygen atom has a slight negative charge, and the carbon atom has a slight positive charge. Scientists say that the carbon atom is electron deficient. Now, the electron deficient carbon atom in the carbonyl group can be attacked by nucleophiles. And because of this, carbonyl compounds can react by nucleophilic addition. A good example is the reduction of carbonyl compounds. I'm showing you here the reduction of the aldehyde ethanol. In this reaction, we use the reducing agent sodium tetrahydridoborate 3 in aqueous solution, and we gently warm the carbonyl compound with the reducing agent. Aldehydes are reduced to primary alcohols, so ethanol is reduced to ethanol. Notice that in the equation, the reducing agent is represented by capital H in square brackets, and you should use that symbol. Here's the reduction of the ketone propanone. Ketones are reduced to secondary alcohols, so propanone is reduced to propan 2 ol We're going to look now at the mechanism for this reaction, and I should point out that you need to learn this mechanism. I'm showing you here the aldehyde ethanol, and as you can see, I'm showing the polarity of the carbonyl group. During the reaction, the reducing agent generates the hydride ion H-. Notice that the hydride ion contains a lone pair of electrons. In the first stage, the hydride ion is attracted to the electron-deficient carbon atom in the carbonyl group. The hydride ion donates its pair of electrons, forming a new covalent bond like this. So in this way, the hydride ion is acting as a nucleophile. Notice that this is a dative covalent bond, as both electrons were provided by the hydride ion. Now, the carbon atom cannot have five covalent bonds, so at the same time, the pi bond in the carbonyl group breaks by heterolytic fission, and both the electrons from the pi bond move on to the oxygen atom. We've now formed a negatively charged intermediate. Notice that the oxygen atom in the intermediate now has a lone pair of electrons. Remember that the reaction takes place in aqueous solution, so the second stage involves a molecule of water. In a water molecule, the hydrogen atoms have a slight positive charge, and the oxygen atom has a slight negative charge. Now, the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom in the intermediate is donated to a hydrogen atom in the water molecule. At the same time, the covalent bond in the water molecule breaks, and both electrons move on to the oxygen atom. So, the effect of this is that the intermediate is protonated, forming the alcohol molecule. And remember that the reduction of carbonyl compounds is an example of nucleophilic addition. In the next video, we look at the reaction between carbonyl compounds and hydrogen cyanide.